Hey y'all, this is my intro video for my second project pan. My second legit, successful, actually use the products, use stuff up project pan. First project pan ever ever was total fail. I can link that video. I didn't do anything. It was horrible. Um, I just finished up my last project pan. I literally just, just shot the finale for it, so I will link that if you're interested in seeing it. I was really successful. I'm really motivated to move on now. I will be project panning for the foreseeable future, so this is something I'm going to continue to do, um, like I said, for the foreseeable future until I get to a point where I either don't want to or feel that I don't need to anymore. Um, so I picked out 10 new products, all for the most part makeup items. Um, the last one I did a 15 pan, 10 makeup items, 5 assorted miscellaneous body care, hair care, etc. I'm not doing that this time. And it's basically because my last project pan was so successful, not just with me using up the pan items, but because of it, I was like so motivated that I was using stuff up that wasn't even in my pan. Like, I try to pan everything now. I mean, fellow project panners, tell me if you have this issue. I'm trying to like pan certain pins at work. Like, oh no, I'm gonna use this blue pen every day until I run out of it. I've tried to pan post-it notes. Like, what? what's wrong with me? Like. It's just, it's getting, it's crazy how it affects like other parts of your life. So I'm gonna start with like my foundation base items. I guess that's what makes sense. Um, the first item is a loose powder. This is from Beauty Control and it's just their loose perfecting powder. It's in the shade medium cool, but it is very, very light because I am light right now and this is my color. Like this is my winter color. And I love this. I absolutely love this product. Um, so I've kind of gone back and forth like, Ooh, do I want to pan it? I kind of want to save it and use it. I can't buy it anymore. Um, yeah, my mom's not a beauty control rep anymore. Um, yeah, so I do want to use it up and I have another powder that's darker that I need to pan this summer. So I figure I need to use this up, use that up in the summer, and then I'm going to invest in a really good loose powder. So if anyone has any suggestions, let me know. I prefer loose and I prefer skin tone versus translucent. That's just what I prefer. Um, I do pressed, it's okay, but I do prefer the loose. Something about the finish that it, it gives is just, that's what I prefer, even though it is really messy. So this is an item that I cannot mark. This powder, if you can tell, it just kind of, kind of clumps together. Not on the skin or anything like that, but like if I try to shake it around, it, you see what I mean? It's not like my last powders where I could like tap them down and they were, they were like loose and then I could mark it clearly. This does not, it just kind of like clumps and falls and clumps. So I can't get a good line on it. So this is something I'm just gonna have to take photographs of, which I have already photographed and marked everything. So it's just gonna be what it is. There is not a whole lot left in this though. In fact, looking at it on, on the monitor, it looks like I have more left um, than I actually do. The other foundation-y kind of product I have is my travel size of the It Cosmetics um, CC Cream. And I love this, I absolutely love love it. I bought the travel size, sample size, whatever, um, to give this a try because I'm so iffy with foundations, like they break me out, don't like them. Um, so I wanted to buy the small size before investing in the large one. Um, bought it, loved it, bought the big one. I haven't cracked into that one yet, but since then, my skin's got even lighter. Like it's, I don't know, I didn't think I was going to get any lighter, but this is light and it's actually a little bit too dark, but it's totally workable. It is not it's fine. It It's not perfect, but it's like 85% fine. And I did look at the fair when I was in Ulta the other day, and the fair is really yellow based, so I might as well just stay with light. It's going to match me, you know, 85% of the year, so why not, why not just stick with it? Anyways, I need to use this up. It's been open for about four months now. I need to use it. I just, I need to bite the bullet and use it up. Um, and I don't want to crack into the new one until I do. So I don't have a whole lot left. This is kind of a gimme product. Like, yeah, I get it. It's a gimme product. Um, again, just coming off of my first project pan, I don't want to demotivate myself. I don't want to put a bunch of full size, um, all brand new products in here and just get totally bummed out because I'm not making any progress on anything. And this is something I really want to move out and be done with. So that's kind of what I see my project pans as. I'm putting the little mini size of the Stila Convertible Color in Peony in here. This is the little mini, like you get it in support favorites, you get it in little sample sets, things like 
like that. They, these are everywhere. Um, and I really do like this formula. Again, I've always been a fan of Stila. I really wish they would just stop selling in China. They would be cruelty free otherwise. I just, I don't get it. Anyway, so cream blushes need to be used up. Uh, my goal is to get through every single cream blush that I own by the end of the year or I'm really going to have to throw them away uh, and I don't want to do that. So what my plan is, I've never panned a blush and I've especially never panned a cream blush. So I started out with the smallest one I own. That being said, it's not used that much. So I think this is still going to be a feat. Um, initially what I have in mind for this product and for all of my cream blushes I really want to rotate through them and get use out of them so I'm thinking once I hit pan I'm gonna rotate in the next one and then hit pan on that one and rotate in the next one so not necessarily use up this product but just at least hit pan to where I feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of all of them um, and hopefully I can use them all up by the end of the year so that's kind of my goal I know that there's quite a few people who have panned these so if you have and I know you can use them as lip colors and I do really like it as a lip color I do it's actually really beautiful I have a bunch of lip products in this pan too so I don't know I don't know how that's gonna work but if anyone has any ideas on how you pan this or yeah panning cream blushes etc just let me know I would really appreciate the help on this because I'm to be honest with you I'm a little bit afraid of this one kind of along those lines too is my NYX Tame and Frame this is the eyebrow pomade and this is in the shade espresso and I prefer pencil I do but I wanted to get this because I wanted to try out pomades I mean you know they're all over the place everyone talks about the Anastasia one I wanted to give it a try I went the cheaper route I do like this product but I'm always gonna reach for a pencil it's so much easier to use I prefer the look of it I just I like it better um, but I don't want to lose the money that I put into this even though it wasn't an incredible amount um, the thing is again it's it's almost full too so this is another product where I at least want to hit pan on it and sizable pan like I've dug in there you know could I hit pan yeah but I actually want to use a reasonable amount of this up so what I want to do is use this every day like for work and stuff like that and for more important events I do prefer my my pencil hourglass eyeliner black eyeliner I was so excited to get this because I me mean, it's hourglass and there's such a reputable brand and their products are so awesome and I was incredibly underwhelmed by this product and I cannot mark it because I can't twist it up and twist it back down like when I got this on the box it said don't click it more than two times because you can't turn it back down that is so frustrating I don't know why that just doesn't make sense to me um, I have used this quite a few times um, you know 10 15 times something like that so there is some wear on it but I have absolutely no idea how far I am down on this and I can't tell y'all so this is just gonna be one of those it's gonna go until it's just gone one day the next four items are all lip products and this is a lot of lip products so the first one is the Smashbox reflection high shine lip gloss in candy and it's just a really pretty pink like bubble gummy pink gloss with lots of shimmer it's I think it's gorgeous I really do the problem is I lost the cap to it like legit that's why the caps not here oh wow I just discovered something I just discovered I can see my level on the product and I marked it a totally I marked it from here up and so here down and now I see the level anyways um, so I lost the cap and that's a problem so if anyone knows, because it's going to be hard for me to take it with me during the day without a cap. Um, and because it's being exposed to air and stuff, I do want to use it up. It seems just fine now. Like, the product hasn't changed at all. Um, but I don't want it sitting here for years, not, you know what I mean, exposed to oxygen. So I want to use this up as much as I can, and then I'm going to get rid of it. Um, if anyone has any ideas of maybe what I can depot it into, I thought about putting it in the last Smashbox lip gloss bottle that I just used up, but then I was thinking like, ugh, that's gross. It's like an old bottle with like old, ugh, yeah. So I just don't want to do that. And I don't want anything that I have to like use my finger, like I don't want to put it in a pot and have to use my finger. I don't know. 
I don't know. So if anyone has any ideas, let me know. The next three products I have marked. Um, the first one, we've all tried to pan it. I've panned the other one. I just haven't panned this one yet. It's the NARS Lip Pencil B-Day Gift in Cruella, and I love this. As soon as I get through, I have one other red lipstick, red matte lipstick, and I would rather have this one. But I want to get through that one first, then this is the one I'm going to buy because I adore this color it is so beautiful makes my teeth white like perfect for cool tone girls I love it um, the thing is and I've used this a few times but you don't have to re reapply much during the day like it stays on there really well um, the Rikugian I could apply more because um, it wasn't a matte for one uh, so I just need to use this up there's probably two maybe three applications left in it like three days of wear left in it so I just need to use it up and move it out and I have marked it here and as you can see I don't have a lot left just a little nub right there yep not much at all the next item is this little lipstick from Marc Jacobs it's in kiss kiss bang bang and this is not I mean this is a very mini lipstick as you can see here it's just a kind of a rosy pink color it's an okay lipstick. I mean, I like the color. I don't love the color, so I just want to pan this and use this up. Okay. Oh no! Oh Jesus. Oh shit. Oh, there's fuzz attached to it. Okay, what did. Yep, that's what it was. I just dropped it and I took a chunk out of the back of it. Jesus. I swear I didn't do that on purpose. I didn't get angry at it. It's not much. It's just a very superficial chunk taken out. Damn it. So the second one is where I'm at. Right about there, if you can see. So I'm just right up to the second line on that one. So it's not a big product at all, and it's, it's very narrow, so I don't think that's going to take very long. Just, you know, a few days of concentrated effort on this, and I think it'll be fine. And then the last product is a lip liner. It's the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in East End Snob. I know a lot of people rave about it, and I do. I like it just fine. It's It can be a little bit drying on my lips, to be honest with you. But I figured this was a good one to use. Like, it'd be great with this lipstick. It'd be great with the gloss. That's actually the combo I have on right now. Not so great with the red, with the NARS, but that's fine. I don't really need one for everything. Um, this would be fine to just fill in all together, wear some lip balm over, be a shade in and of itself, which I have done before too. Um, there's not a whole, whole lot left. I'm right here, if you can see, right there on that third line. So it's very like stair steps all the way down. So yep, right there on the third line. And I don't know, I think this does go pretty quick. I, I don't know, I can't remember how long I've had this. I have two of them and I want to pan them both out this year. And my final product, this is the one that I was saying, like, this is the one non-makeup product. But the thing thing is, like, I went through and I really wanted to pair stuff in here that A, I wanted to use up, B, I, know, I knew that I would be able to, and C, that kind of went together. Um, what I put in here instead of this product was a mascara, and it was a sample size mascara, and it would be such a gimme product. I'm going to use that up anyway, so why not put in something that actually would be a little bit more of a challenge and be a little bit more interesting. So this is what I picked, and this is the Urban Decay Cocoa Powder. I had this one, and I had the marshmallow one too that was like white, and I had, um, there is, I didn't have, there's a honey one too that I've seen. These are old. I've had this since college. It's an edible powder. Like, it doesn't anymore, believe me, and that's why I want to use it up. But you could lick it and, like, kiss it, and it would taste like chocolate. And it's, it still smells like chocolate, but I can tell the smell is changing, and I'm not going to even try to eat it. So, um, I used to love this. I used to put this in my hair because it's, like, a brown color but with a lot of shimmer, and it would make my hair, like, shimmery when I went to the bar. I used to love this stuff, and it does smells so good. So like before Too Faced was doing the chocolate, the cocoa, everything, Urban Decay was too. I don't know why they discontinue these. This is a product, like this is a retro product I wish they would bring back. And let me know if y'all ever had one of these or have seen it or anything because I used to love this. Anyways, so that's where I think I am. My line's a little, little bit sideways there, but that's where I am. And um, I just need to go through this, put it on like after I get out of the shower or something like that. It's just, I know it's old. It's not edible anymore. The smell is changing. It doesn't smell, in fact, it still smells good. It smells like hot chocolate. But it doesn't smell as good as it used to. 
it's sitting on my vanity, you know, it's taking up room, stuff like that. I need to use this up. I just need the motivation to do so. So this is going to go. This is going to be a sad day when I throw this away. Alrighty, y'all. So that is the intro for Project Pan number two. Let me know what you think about the products I've chosen, you know, about choosing four lip products. Um, have you ever done a Project Lip? What are you panning right now? Like anything Project Pan related that will either encourage me, give me more information, or you're doing pans and I want to check yours out. Like any of that, anything to do with Project Pan, I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comments below. I'm probably already watching your videos, but if I'm not currently, let me know because I, I love watching panners and it's so much better for you than watching hauls. So just my, my two cents, if you're trying to avoid shopping, can't watch hauls. It's just, ooh, it gets me personally. Maybe you can and not be, um, not get that compulsion and that desire to shop, but I'm, you're a stronger person than I am. So anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all in the next update. Wish me luck. Remember that you are already famous in your hometown. Love y'all. Bye.